August was a summer of traveling around the UK, spending time with my loved ones, soaking up my wonderful city, and leaving it with a little crochet goodness. Join me with your current crafty project and a nice drink while I share with you my home country, crochet art, and my yarn buys. Before I start, I want to quickly share with you my beautiful yarn purchases from the lovely Lips of London. To continue my sock knitting journey, I bought a few skeins of some gorgeous artisan art in speckled cream and a deep ochre yellow. I also could not resist this gorgeous little one in rich autumnal oranges. Plus a collection of raw cotton arm from Cairo Deluxe which is destined for a new crafty project early next year. Before I left the UK, I did also make a little extra order and treated myself to a wooden yarn swift. During my last weeks in the UK, I packed up once again and travelled down by train, my favourite way to travel around, to the beautiful sunny south of the UK. To spend a wonderful week with one of my most special people in my life, my amazing godmother. We spent the week exploring the beautiful and diverse city of Ipswich walking along the quayside, watching the boats dock in and out. Travelling out to the countryside to see Macbeth at Sutton Hoo by sunset. and also driving down to Felixstowe one morning to breathe in the fresh sea air before breakfast. And of course a few trips to restaurants and wonderful coffee shops filled our week, like the gorgeous Applaud Cafe where I ate the best bacon sandwich. While I was staying at my godmother's, I had a crochet idea. It was one of those moments when you just need to rush to the yarn shop and start. Some yarn was bought and my crochet hook was ready. I spent the lazy summer afternoon in the garden, crocheting to my heart's content working on my new project. Over the afternoon my idea started to form and I enjoyed the late afternoon sun on my face and listened to the local birds flutter in and out of the garden. And within a few hours my frame was ready. The following afternoon I worked on the base and once again enjoyed the summer afternoon sun. Now it was time to put my crochet hook down and return to my hometown of Manchester. My time at home was soon coming to an end. I wanted to enjoy my beloved city one more time before I returned to Brazil. On my final Sunday, I woke up early to explore the quiet Sunday streets of town to share with you a little of my beautiful home city. A quick trip on the tram and the in town. One of my favourite things to do in Manchester is to walk the back streets behind the town hall. A Sunday church service was about to begin 
we will set for a few moments to absorb the calm and quiet murmurs of the service from outside. Manchester is full of hidden gems, history and beauty that are found all over the city, within the floor, building and sculptures. I love walking the city and turning your eyes up as you will always find the most beautiful carvings and architecture. All over the city you will find bees as this is a symbol of Manchester. The bee denotes Mancunian's hard work ethic and the city being a hive of activity. And it has also come to represent a sense of unity within our city from past to present day. After a wonderful few hours wandering the early morning streets, the coffee shops were starting to open it was time to have breakfast and finish my crochet project. Inspired by my city symbol, I decided to crochet a beehive with busy little bees to yarn bomb onto the post box near my parents' street. Sitting in front of Manchester Art Gallery, I got on my project and finished the last of the bees before attaching them to the base. I had many curious people stop by and ask me about my work, each time giving lovely words of admiration and asking where I would be on bombing my crochet. B by B, my crochet project was coming to the end. Now all the little busy bees were sewn, my project was finished. Together, me and my mum installed the beehive onto the post box at the end of her street, leaving Manchester with a little crochet art.